Hello, it's Mayhem Garage here. Well, it only took, what, five days? And this thing's already buried. <laughs> it happens, but uh, I got my metal yesterday. So today, we are, or we as in I, am ready to cut this thing in half. Uh, I got my 2x3 square tubing. Uh, I got the, I forget what size it is, 1x2, I think, square tubing. I'm, I am gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that X bracing, lengthen it, cut it up completely, rebuild it, something. I got some metal to play with that anyways. And then I got my tubing that fits inside here, so I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half and uh, lengthen it out. So, but first I gotta get clean. Uh, you know, clean up around it, clean the floor. Always gotta do some cleaning and get it kinda ready. I gotta figure out if I'm gonna leave it on the wheel trucks here or set it on the ground and do some blocks of wood. Setting on the ground might be a little bit better option, actually. So, yeah, we'll go from there. Gotta go get some paint mixed up. Uh, go see if there's anything in a rattle can that's close to this color, which I doubt. Otherwise, I'll go get some paint mixed up and put it in a rattle can. And I can match something up close enough to this so that I can fill it in and color it and hopefully try to get rid of some of this red haze that's on this thing. I don't know what it is. But kind of you know red it's not really red it's pink it's it's legit pink so try to get rid of a lot of that too yeah let's get after it There you go, 12 inches longer, <laughs> or so. Just stretch it apart, looks like we're about 13 right now, but yeah, I gotta uh, either get this a little bit further apart or kind of offset like the front or the back, whatever, because I got all my round tube that I bought. Uh, I'm gonna cut that to length, um, and that is smaller than this. It fits inside of this almost perfectly. So there's just a little bit of play, which is good. It'll give me a little bit of room to uh, uh adjust things and kind of get the car kind of sitting where it needs to be again because my blocks of wood and concrete floor aren't exactly perfect but even if this thing's off just a hair going back together it's not gonna be the end of the world but yeah uh, it'll slide into each tube uh, i gotta figure out how far i want it to slide into each one because like these ones down here i can't go too well i could actually go pretty far but uh i'm not sure if i want to do six inches into here or three inches i think just three inches and that'll leave me some metal because uh, going three inches into these, that should be plenty. And then it'll be a 12 inch section. And I'll weld it around each side. And, you know, that's a, a whole bunch of welding. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 18 welds on each side. And then plus all the square stuff. So lots of welding ahead. But yeah, that's uh, that should work pretty good. I gotta get these cleaned up. And I think start cutting some metal. And start sliding these together and get this thing kind of back together again but yeah i think those 18 inches are gonna work good that'll give me three inches in each end that should be plenty plus it'll be welded up so and of course you know there's nine of them plus the square ones i think it'll be plenty strong yeah so keep cutting i guess
Man, am I tired of welding. <laughs> oh my god, my neck hurts, my back's sore, my knees hurt. This thing's not easy to get in and out of to weld, but we're looking all right. Not the greatest weld in the world, but they will work. Uh, I think some of these, yeah, some of them look like they're a little thin, not quite, you know, penetrated as far as I'd like. I might go over uh, a couple of these I've already gone kind of back over again. I might just run some beat up on this and, and just really, really, uh, you know, run it back and forth. Try to get some penetration and contact. Uh, I might grind some of these down too before I do that. We'll see. Otherwise, it's just the structural part of the car, you know. Nothing really important. <laughs> yeah. Plug welded these guys. Plug welded those ones. I probably should have just done the rest of them while I was at it, but not too late. So, get all these welded up. Got the insides of these to go still. Got the insides of those ones over there to go still. Uh, I think I got around these pretty good. Same thing. Just some of these undersides are horrible. Welding upside down is not easy to do regardless anyways but i think for what i'm planning on doing with this it is i don't want to say good enough pretty damn good so but definitely more than good enough so i'm gonna have to cut my square tubing this stuff up and match it up to the bottom uh should be able to section in that piece and then i'm going to have to do something over here it looks like the seat's gonna sit a little bit taller on this side than over there unless i raise it up but the floor is definitely gonna be taller than over there but i'll have to make a floor of some sort on this side and then i'll have to make a tunnel for the drive shaft and i think through the center here is also where my exhaust is going to run through not 100 percent sure on that yet but i think that's really the only place i have to run it so that's more than likely probably what's going to happen which means before i build another uh tunnel i should probably change this uh drive shaft loop make it a little taller and so i can have a little bit bigger tunnel have some room for exhaust because i'm not gonna have any room with the floor here i can't go underneath i have no room there so the exhaust of course ran where the passenger pretty much was and same with the driver's side i have no room for exhaust anywhere there so i think i'm gonna go pretty much where the transmission hooks up kind of bring it up to the back side and run it above the transmission above the drive shaft and then I have room this side to turn it out and come out in front of the rear tire. And then same with that side. I've got some old brackets in the way where the battery used to be and the old uh, dry sump filter set up. I can move all that and then I got room to, uh, or just get rid of it basically, I have room to run the exhaust out that side too. So I can have dual exhaust coming out the quarter panels of the car. I think that's the plan there. So like this side, you can see there's a decent amount of room. Uh, got room through the cage, got room with the three link. So that's probably how i'm gonna run the exhaust i'm probably gonna have to wrap it because it's gonna get hot plus insulate the uh tunnel but yeah we're we're making progress so yeah that's that's where we're at